hello, hello. Hey folks, you're very welcome to this video with thanks to Navigraph. They're running a promotion at the moment. Uh, when you sign up for a new user for Navigraph, either monthly or annually, but well, they're gonna give you one month's free access. The link is in the description notes below. So when you click on that link, it'll bring you to this page and you can select which subscription you want. It's either pay monthly or pay annually, and you can cancel at any time. You'll know it works because you'll see this one month free here. It's a great way to check out the Navigraph system. Now, Navigraph have been flat out busy. They're bringing all their features over to the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. We have the charts for the in-game panel, and we also have access to Navigraph from inside the default EFB. The latest news from Navigraph, well, they managed to get the Jeppesen database into Flight Sim 24 as well, which means when you go flying and you're planning your flight on Simbrief, no more missing waypoints or airways or airports because the Jeppesen database is now up and running. So we're going to check out the online ATC stuff. So in here, we're going to go to the toggle online traffic network settings. We have a power button and we can select either VATSIM or IVAO traffic. So we're going to turn on the VATSIM, turn on ATC. And these are all the facilities that have ATC coverage on the VATSIM network. You can see the areas that they're controlling and you can also see some other information. You can see that the tower is online. We can see that, you know, there's a ground online and we have ATIS here as well. Now, other things we can do where we can turn on traffic as well. And uh, all of these aircraft that just appeared, these are live VATSIM flights happening right now. It's quite staggering to see the amount of users. And with any of these aircraft, I mean, you can hover over them, you can click on them, and it's going to give you some information, the departure, their arrival, their current ground speed, total airspeed, their altitude, the heading. And we can go further into this. We can actually look at their entire route in which we can create a flight plan directly from it. Or we can just copy it to our own clipboard. So if there's someone flying a route and you're looking at it going, oh, I'd like to do that. Well, you can do it all from within here. Now, the other things when it comes to the facilities, we're going to click on this facility and let's see what it brings us up. So we'll go to general information. This is London's Heathrow. And when we click on the networks tab, disappear this guy here as well. We can start off at the gates. So we can see all the terminals and what gates are free. Now this is handy when it comes to starting a flight on VATSIM. The last thing you want to do is spawn on another aircraft or worse if you're already at your uh, gate and then someone appears on top of you. It's no biggie. I mean you can just move but at least this way you can plan for a terminal or concourse that's just far away from someone else. Now we can also check out the departures. You can check on the arrivals. And then we can see the ATC specifics. So we can see the controllers, who's on. We have ground, we have a tower. And then we have the ATIS. We also see all the frequencies beside them. And we have a text ATIS as well. Right, so finally, we're going to go into the sim and have a look at our EFB. So in order to find where you have Navigraph charts and also sim brief that we're going to take a look at, uh, down at the bottom of the EFB, you can see aircraft, pilot log, so on, so on. Uh, click on more apps and we're going to open up Navigraph charts from here. And when you do this, Navigraph charts, it'll show you your route. Uh, it'll show you all the information. They have not yet implemented the online ATC stuff. Um, I hope that's coming. But uh, that's all as you would be used to. I mean, you can pull this down from the, uh, the main top bar as well. It works fine. However, once we go into Simbrief, this is really good because this is where you can actually start planning um, and logging your flights using Simbrief from within inside the sim itself. Now, if you're not sure how to use this bit of kit, Ramble on over to where it says help, click on help, and they have a ton of information in here. I mean, you have anything from tutorial videos, how to make everything work on your mobile or a tablet. There's a lot of help in here, which is good to see. Now, if we want to do a new flight, well, we ramble over to new, and in here, just like what you'd see on Simbrief, you can put in your airline, your flight number, where you're departing, your arrival, and your aircraft type, and it goes through all the jazz. You have all the customization uh, that you'd have on Simbrief itself. And we've other things as well. I mean, you can go back and look at some of your historic flights. You can check out the aircraft in your fleet. You can also go to the weather tab. Again, real handy to see. You can put in your IKO of an airport. Uh, for instance, we can just some basic K, um, J, F, K. Search that. We should see a METAR. We should see a TAF. And we can see the ATIS on the real world as well. We can also have a look at some of the uh, weather charts. So if we wanted to check out the North Atlantic, for instance. And we can go ahead and load this chart in. But we can see if there's any significant weather and uh, we can move around with that map as well. So this is all from with inside the EFB. So have fun with it. And again, if you're stuck anywhere, well, just click on the help tab and 
you know, there's, there's tutorial videos, how to get you up and running, the general layout. There's tons of options in there. So um, that's it for today. As I said, they are running a promotion, all thanks to Navigraph, one month free. The, the details, you'll find them in the description below. I'm off now to play with more flight planning. So until the next time, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.